start over? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do the cardiovascular exam. Irma yeah. and Choi. <laughs> okay, the first thing I'm going to do while she's sitting down is inspect her carotid artery. And it's located between the trachea and the sternal mus mastoid muscle. So, um, you see a little pulsation, it's not. Okay, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to um, palpate it. And what you do, it's um, the two fingers, it's between the trachea and the sternal mastoid muscle. Go ahead. I'm gonna grade a two plus, and it has no thrills, which is normal. What's the thrill sound like? Thrill is like a purring sound. And then I'm gonna osculate first with the bell of my stethoscope and three different locations. And I'm gonna ask you to take her breathe. So I'm gonna ask her to go ahead and hold her breath. Go ahead and hold your breath. And then you're gonna go ahead and do this on both sides. And if you hear any breeze or um, turbulence, a breeze or turbulence, you hear that noise, then um, it's abnormal. But she has no breeze, so it's normal. Then I'm going to inspect her jugular vein, so I'm going to ask her to go ahead and lay down in a 45 degree angle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask her to turn her head away from me. Go ahead and turn her head. And then I'm going to inspect her jugular vein to see if she has any distension. And uh, there isn't any. So that's normal. And if there was, you'd go and get a ruler. Okay, but if there was, what would you pretend? Ruler, and what would you do? And I would um, place it on her angle, Louis, and then I would place one standing up, and then the other one I would place it horizontally to the surface, to the top of the um, distension, and I would measure it. And if it's greater than three centimeters, then she has um, jugular vein distension, or JVP, or JVP. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to inspect her um, precordium, and I'm going to watch for any, um, for a heave or a lift. And a heave is um, forceful palpitation of the heart um, against the chest. So she doesn't have any, so that's normal. Next, I'm going to start palpating her chest to check for any abnormalities. I'm going to start at the bottom. Okay, let see that. And I'm palpating for any thrills. And there isn't any. And you use the palm of your hand. Okay, next I'm going to um, palpate her for her apical pulse. And it's located mid pillar in her fifth inner muscle. So you can go ahead and count down. <laughs> okay. And um, I don't feel any thrills. So it's normal. And I'm going to check her skin too while I'm here. And it's warm, dry, and intact. Okay. Then I'm going to auscultate. And I'm going to start with her aortic. Okay. It should be um, right to the right of the sternum on the second intercostal. Okay. And you shouldn't hear any. Um, you should hear S1 and S2, and you shouldn't hear any murmurs or palpitations. And I'm going to start and move over to the left of the sternum in the second intercostal, and that's the um, pulmonic area. And then I don't hear any abnormalities, so then I'm going to go ahead and move to herbs, which is the third intercostal left of the sternum. Then I'm going to go ahead and go down to the tricuspid which is in the fifth inner costal left of the sternal border. And then I'm going to go ahead and move mid-clavicular in the fifth inner costal. And I don't find any abnormalities or hearing murmurs or anything. So then I'm going to go ahead and use the bell in the same direction I was going to listen for any S3, S4 sounds. So I started the aortic and the pulmonic herbs.
the tricuspid and the mitral and bicuspid. For the, that's for the S1. Then I'm going to listen to your, your apical pulse. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and count the rate for 30 seconds and then multiply by 2. And it should coincide with her carotid artery at the top. If um, you have any difficulty listening to it, you just lean to the side. Tell the patient to lean to the side. And that's it. Oh, if you can't hear it? Like, how would she lean to the side? Like, show. She would turn to the left. So she would lean forward this way. Uh, or turn to the left. Turn Why? The left. So the heart would be closer to, to the chest. Yeah. That's good. Wow. Okay.